everybody welcome back to my channel it is the new year this is my first video for the new year yeah I know it's it's okay. so it's no secret that there's tons of new makeup in the drugstore and everywhere else you know this is the time of year where brands explode with new products and everybody here on YouTube and everywhere else who loves makeup goes crazy okay so I try not to go too crazy I never really go that crazy but um, I've always been intrigued by drugstore makeup, so, you know, I like to give the cheap stuff a try. You know, always have, always will. So, so one of the new foundations is by L'Oreal, you see the title, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Now, when it first came out, I didn't see any colors on the display that were remotely brown. Um, and then I went to Walmart and of course I saw two of the brown shades that L'Oreal typically has which is Soft Sable and Coco I believe okay so I got Soft Sable here and I found the powder in Classic Tan which is really interesting to me because Classic Tan is not usually this brown do they have darker colors or what so went to Walmart you guys know Walmart okay they had some brown shades so I am going to give it a shot right now. Um, I haven't even opened this up yet. I'm going to go ahead and apply it now and see. I don't even know if it's the right shade to be honest with you. Alright, so let's get to trying this on and see what the outcome is. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I've already done all the preliminary except for primer. And I'm using my Black Up Cosmetics Primer. And I'm just going to apply that here. Now my skin is, I guess I'm more combination now. Um, but more normal than any more normal than anything, but I do have some oil um, that develops on my face. So now I'm gonna apply the products. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some on the palette and yeah. I'm not sure what this this is looking like it's gonna be kinda ashy. So the consistency is not watery at all. It's a pretty looks like it's a thicker type of formula. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks thicker. So I'm going to apply the product with two different tools. I'm going to use my beauty blender on one side and a brush on the other. And if this doesn't, if either one of them doesn't feel like it's working out, I'm going to switch over to which the one that works out, okay? So I'm going to dab some of this on my face. One side of my face right over here. Ooh. Okay. And that's looking kind of crazy. Okay, so that's one side. Um, it feels very, very light, like it says, so that's a check. Feels light. Um, the color actually is okay. I thought it was going to be a problem, but as you can see, you know, the difference here. Serious difference. All right. That side has no product. This one does. Again, this color is Soft Sable, and the number of that is 111. That was one coat, and it completely evened out my face. And I actually like the way it applied with, the, with this, the Beauty Blender. So let's go ahead and try the other side with a brush. Dab it on first. Now this dries kind of quickly, I can tell. So you really have to move fast to get this blended in. Yeah, see so you have to move fast because look at that. I can, I can already see some line definition around my mouth here. I can already see that really small faint lines where they're becoming more pronounced. So hopefully as time goes on throughout the day, that will change. Now what I'm going to do is go over it with my beauty blender just so I can feel a little better about the blending of this foundation. Um, so this is the build up section to see what a second coat will look like even though I do not need a second coat. This is enough, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and see what it's like. It's looking a little ashy to me. I don't know. It's looking a little ashy, but I'm hoping that this powder will warm it up and give me what I need so I just don't look like, you know, 
ashy. So let's just do this because All right, so with the second coat, I'm noticing that it feels like, it looks like it's lifting some of the product off of my face. Um, over in here, I feel like it's removing product. So I don't know about that. And my hyperpigmentation is starting to kind of show through. So it's looking very uneven over there. So I'm going to actually stop. Um, stop using the Beauty Blender. Yeah, it's it's kind of looks like it's rubbing off or something weird. Okay, so that's the application. It does not look bad. The coverage is awesome. This is a very, very, very mattifying foundation. It is. I mean, for normal to dry skin, this is a very mattifying foundation. Again, we will see as the day progresses what will happen. Now, I'm going to complete my face. I'm going to go ahead and add my concealer, and then I'm going to add the powder. Okay, so my brows are done, and I've also done my concealer, my highlighting, and I use this Makeup Forever HD press powder underneath my eyes for the highlight. Um, I didn't want to add any additional color, or any additional brightening. I just wanted to go ahead and set that concealer. So now, time for the powder, and this is the Infallible Pro Matte Powder. And it is 16 hour power, power, 16 hour powder. And again, this is cl classic tan. Is that what it is? Oh, that is. Obviously, obviously, this is what it looks like. And it's kind of got this black and then the red. It's, it's transparent and then a clear transparent portion. You can either open it from the bottom like this, and there's a mirror and your sponge, okay? The compartment for the sponge. And then, of course, at the top, you have your powder. Okay, and it's not, it doesn't easily come apart. You have to really put a little force behind it for this flat to, you know, it's not too flimsy. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the face with this. And hopefully it will add a little bit more warmth to my face. Now, I really don't want to do this because this is extremely mattifying, this foundation. And I feel like I'm going to be super duper dry. I really do. But we'll see, right? This is a test. Okay. So this powder did warm it up. So it did warm it up some, okay? So that's about all the setting I'm going to do because really, like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and get in this nose area because that's where I get oily over in here, okay? All right. So, now I'm going to swipe the rest of this off here. It's 12.32 right now. You can see it right there. It's 12.32 right now, 12.32 uh, p.m. And I will be back in... I don't know, a few hours to check in, and then in the evening I will check in with you guys to see what my face looks like. So stay tuned, I'm going to go ahead and do a makeup tutorial right after this. Okay, so my son is a drummer, and so he's having a drum session right now, but I need to film this. So excuse the drums. Okay, so I'm checking in, 5.15, 5.15 p.m., it is almost five hours later, and as you can see, we, there's some, this isn't, that drops. Now mind you, I do have on a primer, I, this is a mattifying foundation, and I have on the powder, okay? And as you can see in here, I hope, hopefully, you guys can see that it is ex 
getting pretty extremely shiny, pretty extreme. It's getting really shiny in the corners of my nose and it's starting to feel really nasty. Very, very gross. I want to take it off like right now. Another thing that I hate already, I shouldn't, I should not be like reviewing it right now, but another thing that's really bothering me right now is the fact that the drums keep playing while I'm trying to do this video. Okay, mind you, that's my son. He's gonna be three in March, so, all right. Another thing I'm hating is the fact that this foundation makes my mustache stand out more than ever from the beginning. It's like the foundation doesn't cover the hair or something or the follicles. It does something really strange where the hair around my mouth is like, ah, just ah, coming out like, ah, you know. So you can see that there is a... Hopefully the drums are not bothering you as much as they're bothering me, but like I said, it, the mustache is accentuated. It's just coming through the foundation. Everything else is even except the mustache, like ain't, okay? Another thing that is really, really bothering me is the fact that it's like, oh my gosh, I needed to get a close up so you guys can see what's happening around my mouth. It is just really nasty, a whole bunch of little lines. It just looks all cracked up around here and it just, it, my pores are like, I have, I don't usually have pore issues, but it's like holes all in my face here. Like it's just seriously, it, it just looks thick. It looks, it just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not enjoying wearing this. I want to take it off immediately. It's shiny and thick and cakey and weird. Okay. Look at this. Right here, it's like all cracks and weird in the hair, mustache hair right there, and. Look at this in the nose, just, I know the light is reflecting, but it's still very like thick in there and weird. Yeah, so I don't know, it, initially, again, initially it felt really, really drying, like it was just sucking all the life out of my face, it was feel, it felt so dry. And it's starting to not, it still feels dry, but it doesn't feel as dry as when I initially put it on. But it just, it feels dry. It just doesn't feel good on my face at all right now. This is five hours into it. Hopefully I'll make it through to the eighth hour. But you guys, I really want to take it off. I really want to take it off. I mean, I do. It just looks, it's beginning to look harsh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like it looks really harsh. And I don't know if you guys saw the pores that were here. I didn't show you a close-up of the pores. But believe me when I tell you. These pores right here are just, it looks nasty. It looks nasty. Okay. All right, so 10 minutes later, um, since the last segment, I had to come back because I just touched my face right here and the foundation came off. Like, I don't know if you can see that there's a hole here in my face. There's a hole where I touched it, I did this, and it came off. It's, that's weird. That's weird. Um, I just, I don't want to go on any longer. I don't want to. This is enough evidence for me to know that I will not wear this foundation again. Uh, it has not worked like this for everybody or has not, hasn't done this to everyone who has tried it, I'm sure. But my experience is not pleasant right now. And I really want to wash my face. I feel like I'm, I'm, I, two little bumps have popped up on the side of my face as I'm, you know, wearing this. And I just really, it's freaking me out because the texture of my skin just looks so not good. It doesn't look good. I don't like the way it's sucking the life out of my pores. Um, I am a bit dehydrated today. I will say that I have not drank, I did not drink enough water today or yesterday. I already know that. So I, my Nevertheless, this should not be happening, okay? I am still 
producing sebum, okay, oiliness, and it's shining through in this area here, all right? Now, mind you, yes, I do have on highlight, right, only on the, this portion of my face. In here, that this is a whole different story. It's like, I don't, you know, I don't know. But, um, no, I don't like it. I don't like it for me. I mean, some people have had success with it. And I hope many others have success with it, but my experience has not been a good one. Again, my skin is, I don't have an oily situation, you know, but I can get oily. So that is uh, my review. I'm going to take it off now. Five, five hours is enough. I see what's happening and I want to wash it off. I want to wash it off, twist my hair, and prep for a new video because this is just, look, look how it's making me look. Just look. It's just like stealing my spirit away. My spirit is just. It looks cakey and weird. When I do this, it just looks cakey and like. That's what it is. It's just cakey and weird and thick and just, I don't know. And this is weird. I don't know why that happened. It's just really gross. I mean, I'm sure you believe me. But, um,. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to wash it off. I'm not even going to attempt the nine hour. Nine hours is not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I have to just take it off immediately, okay? So thank. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Out.